If I were to ask you now that what are the areas do you think where India and UK need to focus on and work on to make their relationship better, which would be those areas? See, better you can focus on everything. Yes. You see, we are at a stage where we have good relation across the board. So we now need to move to the next level. What is next level is that we have a close relationship in which we share everything. So this would include technology issues, trade issues, access issues, uh, politically close together. We share the same views, same values. We have the same constitutional setup, everything. So what we basically need is to go to the next level of our relationship, which is really become very close in everything that we do. And every sector matters. I cannot just tell you one sector which will redefine the relationship. We, we have good relations in, across all sectors. We just need to take it to the next level. And, and we are doing that. And which is what I want to understand at next level, because we did feel that when Prime Minister Modi came here, uh, there, was a, there was a push where we now are looking at eye to eye. Uh, India and UK can, are sitting across the table, and it's not one looking at each at the other. Uh, what is this next level, if I may understand a little bit more? You go through the vision statement. It mm. lays out the pathway to the next level. Mm. But when I'm saying next level, let's take any anything. We have we do research collaboration. Mm. Now, research collaboration is at a basic level. Mm. You need to take it to advanced materials, advanced computing, mm. advanced research into higher technology, aerospace, uh, nuclear. You know. So in everything, in defense, you take it to a higher level. You do joint exercises together. In political, you have regular interaction. In fact, that's Brexit is going to make it more useful because earlier, most of us interaction was through the EU. Now it will be direct. Similarly, in shipping, in trade, in business, in everything, you have to have more interaction. The UK-India CEOs Forum is meeting, JETCO, universities, Prabodhan, Tech Summit, you name it. I mean, in one go within a week, you have almost all aspects of India and UK trade and industry and innovation and technology, everything meeting. Mm. So this is going to the next level. When you meet regularly, when you collaborate with each other regularly, mm. then you establish newer forms of cooperation which takes you to a higher... Mm. So that's what I'm talking about. And um, just before our end, uh, Made in India is a huge... Um, mission almost for the Prime Minister. How does that fit into the relationship? What can we do, bring to India which will become made in, made in India? No, it's not made in India. First of all, it's make in India. Make in India, sorry, yes. Uh, make in I, India. I mean, after 10 years you can say it was made in India, but <laughs> yes, right now it's in India. make in make India. In India. Yes. But make in India is essentially what we are telling everybody across the world, mm. that we are a huge market. Mm. We also have one of the most advanced workforces in the world. Uh, we have also a cheap labor force. Mm. So whatever you are doing to sell to India, mm. whatever you're doing which is costly to make you in your own country, whatever mm. you're doing to sell the rest of the world, mm. we are giving you a platform to make it in India. Mm. We will give you ease of business, we'll make it easier for you to do business, we'll make it easier for you to manufacture here, to come and set a base here. Mm. That's the whole philosophy of Make in India, which mm. Prime Minister Modi has correctly identified as being critical for India's growth next leap forward. Mm. Uh, so this is the essence of making India. So with UK, when we talk with UK, we tell them that whatever you're making, let's for, take for example food processing industry. Mm. UK is one of the leading food processing industries in the world. When we look at Morrison, Patridge's, uh, Tesco, you name it, Sainsbury, everybody. Mm. Uh, you have some of the really high level. But you are a net importer of vegetables, fruits and agriculture products. Mm. So what we are saying is, you go and set a base in India. India is a huge market waiting to be tapped. Mm. So you sell to India. You also produce there to bring it back to UK. Mm. You can do it at a fraction of the cost that you are paying now. Mm. So this is exactly the essence of making India. And I'm sure we will succeed. The UK has shown a lot of interest in making India. Mm. A lot of companies have gone to India. And they're going to India to make sure that making India succeeds both for UK's benefit and India's benefit. Mm. When you listen to these tech companies and to all the people who want to set up in India, do you see a, do you hear something different from what used to be before in terms of ease of doing business, in terms of uh, corruption, red tape? See, the main three. If you don't want to set up business anywhere, you will find excuses. Mm. If you have to set up businesses, you will do it despite <laughs> everything. I would have expected that. Mm. The point <laughs> with it is the 
ease of doing business and the reform that we are doing is not to tell the world that you come into India, but to actually reform ourselves. We need to do it for ourselves. Mm. And that's what Prime Minister Modi is doing. Mm. It's not about attracting outside uh, FDI. In that process, outsiders will be our partners in this mm. path forward. And that's what we are looking at. Uh, let's so tell me uh, just in the end how long is the visit when is it from and okay. the visit starts she goes on the 6th 7th is the day in Delhi where she has uh, official meetings with Prime Minister she will have uh, one to one with the Prime Minister Prime Minister will host a lunch for her they will open the UK India Tech Summit they'll meet businessmen they will have discussions the JETCO will meet on the same day same day this is the Joint Economic and Trade Council uh, then she goes on uh, the next day to Bangalore. She does the same. She meets the chief minister, the uh, governor of uh, Karnataka. Uh, she goes to visit companies. She has uh, she's given a briefing on Indian IT companies, um, and then she flies back. That's so essential. Six to eight six is to eight. mainly yes. uh, the visit. Now I will end the discussion on you. I would say on me. as yes. <laughs> How is it uh, a, a London uh, posting? What 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 is significant about it? No, it's not a London that is significant. It's UK. UK, yes, of course. For India, UK has always been an important country. I mean, you look at it in any parameters that you can think of. Mm. It's a Security Council member. It's one of the top economies of the world. It has a thriving, innovative, and technological uh, industry. It's home to one of the largest Indian diaspora, not only large Indian diaspora, but a highly successful Indian diaspora, mm -hmm. which includes f everything that you do. You have technological people, you have arts people, you have yes. uh, peers, you have uh, members of parliament. It's got everything. So it's a relationship which is very important for India. Mm -hmm. And we do a large amount of things here. Mm -hmm. So London is an attractive thing in terms of work. Okay. UK. What? London is also one of the greatest cities in the world. <laughs> and, it is, uh, I would say that. And it's always a pleasure being here. I think I did say last, but as I, uh, we don't tend to keep our promises, you took me on the Security Council. I think Tories had in there uh, a manifesto that they would be supporting India, the Security Council. How far has that reached and how would that be sensitized to this, no, in no. this visit? You know, they have clearly said they will support. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to them and us to work together in the UN, which we are working together, mm. to ensure that reforms of the UN take place. Because it's not that we both can just decide that we'll be Security Council. If that was it, we would be Security Council members any day now. <laughs> we have to now go to the larger body, to the UN, mm. which we are doing, which we are working together, to ensure that people understand that the UN of today is not the UN of 1945, yes. that the world has changed, mm. and that there are new responsible powers in the world which need to be given the right role. Hmm. And that is happening. So that, that, is, that remains on the, and they are very, they've always, always supported yes, anyway, yes, and this yes. government has. Countries don't change like you did by saying last question. Countries, if they say <laughs> something, uh, they do it till the end. Uh, May I just then also uh, push a little <laughs> bit more and say, is terrorism on the agenda as well, considering where we are going these days with the world? Terrorism is always on the agenda. Hmm. And, it, hmm. and we, India and UK, we share the same concerns on terrorism. Hmm. And uh, today we have a very close cooperation on terrorism. UK understands our concerns both on terrorism, both cross-border terrorism, on all issues. And we are working very closely together. You promised me tea because chai yeah. chat has, the chat has happened, now the chai yeah. will happen. But thank you so much. Thank, uh, you. thank, uh, thank you. you so much, so very much, uh, Mr. Patnaik. Um, 6 to 8 is when uh, Prime Minister Theresa May will be in India, though this happens to be more focused towards, uh, it's a tech visit, it's a prime ministerial visit, but also a tech visit. But I'm sure the issues that we just discussed about immigration, about visa, about terrorism would be touched upon. This is a significant choice that uh, Prime Minister May has made and it would be very, very interesting to watch this space as to watch what happens here. Thank you so much for, uh, for giving us an insight into the entire meeting. Um, please do Twitter me at Levina Tandon with your feedback. You could write to me on chaichat at ashtak.com as well. Till next week, take care and God bless.